It says something, a big thing about performers when they're like, you know, I don't want you on your, I want you to be watching me, I want you to be doing this. People have got lies to live, complicated lies. You can't understand, what kind of background are you from when you don't understand that people have got other stuff going on? It's not just about you on their stage. I understand that we need to be able to zone out for three hours and, and tune in and do this, but people, want, we don't have that. That's a privilege. You can zone out for three hours and not worry about your kids, not worry about your bills, not worry about your rent for three hours. You can do that. Most people haven't got the opportunity to do that. I, you know, it says a lot about a lot of these fucking plays, all these articles you read in the stage about actors uh, you know, complaining about the etiquette of the audiences. They're going to see it more and more from the middle class audiences because everyone's getting squeezed, everyone's getting pulled up. No one can focus for three hours now. It's not, you know, it's not, well, how can we do that? You know, people working all day, they're eating, eating crisps in the audience. They're hungry. They're hungry. You sell ice creams and shit in there, but I can't rustle them. You should be quiet, be quiet. I'm eating my shit. You're making, they're making money out of this. You should be really happy. Anyway. <laughs> so on that note, like it, it, you know, it, it worked in our favour in a way. Like there was, it was, it was, it was, we had a moment in one of the shows. We, we said that we were fine with late comers. The doors was were open throughout the whole thing, and there and there were people going in and out. And we had this one, and we had this really good moment one night where we, where 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 you go out the venue. There's only one door in and out, and it's right on the set. And there's a bit where we're stood right in front of those doors we get in and out and we and someone and someone from the audience just happened to come back in when we were stood there and then we wound up having this really nice moment and it was like you know everyone was laughing in the audience and it was fine and it was you know it created uh, something that that's never going to be repeated for that particular show and it was fine and it, it was a good vibe in there and that's what we want we want it to be relaxed if you go and watch a gig you know, like your normal gear, I'm not talking like Barbican or whatever, you go to Brixton Academy or in your pub, you're going to be going in and out, you're going to go to the bar, you're going to go to the toilet, that's all right. That's, that's how it should be, right? I think that outreach, on our, on our flyer, there was something, I would say just, we, the aesthetic around it was always like, I don't care if this is going to alienate a theatre audience, it needs to be real. Because there were things some people would say, oh, take your caps off in the picture, do this and that. And it was like, no, 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 that's whack, like, that's shit. And I, I, I'm not saying it's just that, but I think the aesthetic, staying true to what it was, definitely helped. Um, and I know like, it's not just about the flyer, but it's a, we did do workshops and stuff. It's about the language on, a, on the flyer as well. Often people wanted to change that as well, but it was, it's about not selling out your aesthetic um, and knowing what you need to say. Often what people will do is they're not confident enough. They will start looking at other blurbs or other things or other things and be changing it to fit into the remit of what the, the established thing is. And I think that there was a level of confidence, which comes with age, probably 10 years older than most of these other artists are when they get on and they do their things. I don't give a shit, I have to be, that, that had to happen. So, like, it's about just being confident enough in what you do and how you do it. Because the audiences will come and they will say, I'm out, I can relate to that, that will happen. But the second you start thinking, this is the proper way, it's like now, and it's like talking to the camera, talking about it, you know, some people, I see people cram up, they start talking a certain way, they start acting a bit nervous, trying to act like someone in the interview. But, and maybe I would have done that five years ago. I thought, okay, I've got to come there, I've got to act like someone. Now I think, actually, why the fuck should I? Why should I do that? It's not about being disrespectful. It's about actually being so pissed off. Maybe there would be middle ground, but there's no middle ground now. Because if you're never given any sort of fucking leeway, it's like, you know what, I just need, need, need 100% do what you do, do what you do and, and own it. Because, like, you know, when, at drama school, you get better marks on the way that you talk RP. Some of these people talk well, close to that anyway. And they own that, they rule that. When I go there, I would fail. I'd, I'd go to drama school, probably M of a 2 2. I know, I know people that got into drama school and they spoke the same way and they got 2 twos. And, and, and someone else, like, oh, they must have been shit. It's like, you know, because some of the things, you know, I, I walk different, I talk different, I embody myself different, I, I'm different characters, different. So, I, so you just got 100% do you. A hun like, and you do like they do them. <laughs> Doing these shows, and gigs and that, my barometer is always always goes back to my mates and like if they come and thought, oh, my mate's gonna like this. You know, because quite often for them even coming here, it's a little bit, oh okay, what is this place? And it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable, it's a bit weird, people dress a bit weird. Uh, but if they like it, to me that then uh, I think we're doing something right. Mm. And I mean, we had 
we, me and Connor got a lot of mutual friends. We had a lot of mutual friends come to the show, and they all really liked it. And in terms of getting the people in that, that you were talking about, or in, in the question, yeah, we had lots of friends come, but we also had, uh, like, doing the workshops. Every, every workshop we did, we gave all the youth groups free tickets, a certain amount of free tickets. So, and quite a lot of them came. And, they, and you know, we want to, want them people to, to watch this and, you know, I guess consume it in a way and also create and be like, wow, that they can buy in to this stuff, to, to, to and, and, uh, not, not as crass as it sounds, but to be creators of it and to curate culture and to watch it. But in this, in, the, in a way, that this is this form or whatever. And it's going to be better when you do it because it's been done. And you're going to improve it. I want that to happen. And then you're going to, other people are going to see it. That's going to be great. It's going to be a great thing. And probably, you know, people have to do it again in 10 years, like I say, but, and start again. When, when, you know, one of the, one of the interviews from The Guardian, the guy was like, you know, don't you want to become middle class? And it was like, no, no, I will always be the same. It's not about, I'm going to be me and I'm going to talk about my lives and I want other people to be doing that, but it's not about me becoming someone else. That's bullshit. What is that? Like, that's deluded. Um, and it's not about these other artists thinking that they have to... You know, I, I meet a lot of young people and they think that they can't do it because they don't want to read Shakespeare, they don't want to read this. You know, and listen, I've read Shakespeare, but some, I like some of it. But I know, I can't understand why it isn't for everyone. That's totally fine. doesn't mean that you have to now completely quit and not create your own performance, not create your own thing. And a lot of it is about that, it's people are scared of it. And I think, you know, aside, you know, obviously it's fucking hard doing it with no dough, you know. It's hard doing it. I mean, to be fair, like we were lucky that the application was written with help with from the the theatre. Do 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 we know the things, the proper things to write? It's not like I can't write, but you got to you got to be able to meet the remit of the Arts Council to to do these forms. Do we know that? Are we really part? Not really. You can. It's, it's hard. It's, it's difficult really for hard. people in the fucking it's in, a whole in the game. Itself, you right. Know, writing, writing. So aside from the poverty of actually doing it and being like, how the fuck do you earn money and do this or and have a job and 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 do this, you know, the, the amount of barriers fighting for for performers in poverty from a certain class, whatever, oh, there's loads, there's loads more, there's ten, there's loads more. And, um, but it's important, and if it is important to you, and but it's not even if it is important, it is important. Um, but it is a struggle, and I think that. Watching it, creating it, supporting each other is the only way that it's going to make it happen. I think I'm glad that we've got the Arts Council funding, but I wouldn't count, always count on it. For someone else, I wouldn't always count on it. But don't use that as a disheartener and say, you got it, I didn't, you're better, or I, I, I'm not good, or you know, I need that money. You don't need the money, just do it. Um, because, it, you know, think of yourself as a pioneer each time, do you know what I mean, each artist, each artist is starting something new anyway, but just be like, you know what, if you know it's hard for me, well, fuck it, I'm going to do it, because it needs to be done. Um, everyone is for everyone, art is for everyone, and although it's a cliche or whatever, it's not really, people don't really know that, you don't feel like it is, no one really feels like it is, it's like a rich thing, you know, it's that what they like, what they do, but it's, and what you do is like a little thing. It's like you know, a little thing, little rap thing, or you know, little, you're acting, but it's not real acting. And I think that for me, it's important for people to just always know that there is their thing. It's a hard, it's, it's a hard one because a lot of artists you meet who are living in poverty or whatever are choosing to do that. They're from wealthy families. They move into the capital. And, I'm so for surfing, man. Your dad or mum can give you a grand or give you. I've seen it. It's not. It's not just. It's just not a general story that I'm doing to like criticize people. But they have this fallback. You know, you, you got to deal with. It's not that you're putting yourself in poverty to do it. You might. Have, you're dealing with real shit. But it's important. Do you know what I mean? And if if you've got. If sometimes you've got to eat crisps in the theatre or not turn up to a house to look after your kids or whatever, that's all right. It's a little bit like, um, it feels a little bit like, you know, you get them people that uh, that collect, like, Star Wars figures from, like, and they're still in the packaging and they never take them out. You know, like, it almost feels like some people want to view the theatre as like that and, like, no, don't take it out. It's perfect. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Leave it. And it's only going to be a, a, a small 
section of people that are, that are going to be able to appreciate that because you know you, I, I look at it and think why don't you just take it out of the case do you know and play with it that's, what, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the whole point of it right but no 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 no. he's going up on the wall don't touch it don't touch it do you know what I mean it's fine it's perfection it's there and like I can't appreciate that oh so I'm going to leave and then you might get your one or two mates going oh yeah that, that, that's that model that was made in 1972 that, that was the pre-release to Empire Street do you know what I mean someone's going to know but, yeah. but it's going to be a small slice of people so most of us are going to go, I, just, I don't understand that, so I'm just not going to bother with it. I'm going to come and play with um, my micro machines over here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just growing, I suppose. It sounds cheesy, but it's true. You know, we like doing this. You know, that's, that's why we do it. I genuinely really enjoy it. And I've learned personally loads from doing this show. You know, I've learned lots about myself about putting shows on I just want to keep doing that really you, know, you never stop learning right you just want to as long as we're enjoying it and we're getting better at it and and you know and creating a space for this sort of work so more of of, of this kind of work that isn't for me and comrade can be created you know so there is a space for it and uh, and maybe who knows maybe we'll develop you know with, with like how it's critiqued maybe there'll be an understanding of this sort of work that'll make it easier for people mm. coming in making these sorts of shows you know we, 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 like, we, we felt with some, of, with some of the reviews that um, I mean most of them were really good even the ones that, that criticised it were genuinely quite good but we felt like there's, there needs to be a level of understanding about the context of it you know for instance we're at BAC right now and I would have thought that most journalists that come here to review shows big journalists have an understanding of the sort of work that's made here the sort of thing they're trying to do and the fact that it's quite often going to be a bit low tech and weird and they take that on board when they're reviewing the shows however we didn't really feel we had that with the reviewers that are coming to our show so maybe by doing more of this stuff do the, the, an understanding will be developed in, in the wider world about how you, how you view this kind of stuff you know, where, it's like, come, where it's come from where it's come why, from why you know why do we move and talk like we do it's not because we don't understand the rules yeah this is the rules now yeah uh, and that, that, well, that's, that's it really. That is the point. Is deep, we're making the rules how we, as, as, as they go along. That's okay. That is the form. It's not, it doesn't have to fit into this. Um, yeah. And hopefully, like, uh, and, it, and it happened, we've had people come up to us and be like, I, I, I think I could do this. And that's it. That's great. What, 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 what more do you want? You know, like, yeah, you can. You can do it. You don't have to be, you know, from drama school. Uh, you know, with wealthy parents or whatever, you, you can do it. It's fine, and it's fine to, to do it. You know, in, in the way you want to present it, in the way you want to speak, the way you want to dress, the way you want to act. And it's fine because there is no rules, really, is it? There is no rules. All the rules are preserved in that figurine Think. packet up on the wall. Do and, you know what I mean? and just to add to that, money that also doesn't validate your art so just ah. because you get paid for it. So there's a lot of people saying that everyone artists should get paid for it, and mm. actually. The certain type of artist that wants to create that argument, um, I think that you don't have to get paid for your art for it to be real. Because some people will never get paid for what they do, but it's still beautiful and it still needs to be done. You know, if I can write, someone can write a 16 bar verse, to me it's still art. They don't mind to get paid for it, but it still exists. It still makes someone else think, yo, I'm going to stay in school, or yo, I'm going to do that. That's the, it's the conversations and the good feeling that, that sometimes it brings in a positivity. In certain areas of society, there is no money. So actually, good feeling, community, those things are worth shitloads. And people don't really realise the value of those things.